excited as he is that is Mikel Ateta for the return of Gabriel Jesus in the game of Fulham but he has gone ahead and really put there an ultimatum for him to get back into the team of us and that is Mikel Ateta he has warned Jesus that it's not going to be an easy an easy take or an easy decision to get him into the Arsenal team and I'm going ahead and really talk lots of things about Jesus and why his return was really so much welcomed at a side of at a side of Arsenal as they won their 5th London Derby. And guys, for your information, Arsenal is the only team in history that has ever gone and won all its away derbies in London. Another history set for Mikel Tater. One, they first won Crystal Palace away. They won Brentford away. They won Chelsea away. They won... Um, they won Tottenham Hotspur away and they've won Fulham away. So they've won all the London derbies and that's Arsenal for you. And they are so much, so much, so much, so much, so much happy because even their manager, Mikel Ateta, went ahead to really make his 100th win for Arsenal. And he had managed 167 games for Arsenal and on the 167th game he clinched his 100th win for Arsenal so welcome to this channel smash the like button comment and share if at all you're watching us for the very first time endeavor endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to be start on stories that we do upload in a daily please subscribe and subscribe because we want to hit 13,000 subscribers we are 12,000 subscribers and some good numbers and we are left with like 120 to reach that number so guys continue subscribing to see that by the end of this month we are 13,000 subscribers and we are left with like 18 days to go to really end this month not so so and smash the like button close to 200 times now Ateta has gone ahead and issued a warning to Gabriel Jesus. You get however much Arsenal fans are excited about his return. Ateta has really gone ahead to throw in a serious warning to the Brazilian forward. And first before throwing in a warning, he was happy about his return. And this is what he had to say. So he said, it's a big boost. His first steps today. And we didn't know whether it was the right game for him. A few days ago, he told me he was missing something and then yesterday he looked, he looked me in the eyes and told me he was ready. Guys, you know, if you know the history of new injuries, <laughs> it takes brevity for a player to come back and really hit the ground running. But what has given these fans of... Arsenal hope is what he told the manager that he felt that he was ready. Why? Mikel Ateta was not willing to risk the player. He was not willing to risk the player. And every time he talked of let's wait and see he tried to use his knee but he felt a little bit of pain. So he was trying to protect the player. But the player came and told Mikel Ateta please, for me I'm ready to play and I feel I'm ready. And uh, last Friday but one he told us that he needs 10 days and on Sunday it was 9 days. So looked like they had given him an ultimatum of him to come out and really tell them that I'm ready. And obviously he was not feeling any pain and yesterday he featured in the game of Fulham. And that chance that he got, he's the one who initiated that chance on the right on the right <clears throat> wide side of the pitch and he made a very good interplay with Fabio Vieira and then Fabio Vieira released him again obviously he missed it but he got his chance and I think that's very good news for Arsenal fans all over the world that are really watching in United Matters channel then on his return again the manager Mikel Ateta had the following to say he said then to then today that is yesterday he had up he had he had the opportunity to throw to throw to throw him in because then today we had the opportunity to throw him in because it's the first step to give him the boost he looked free and generated two big chances straight away and it's great to have him back so he's happy to have him back and who wouldn't be happy to welcome back a player who is really world class and was so pivotal and integral to the arsenal to the arsenal to the Arsenal success this season. Trust me, his return is like a new signing for Arsenal. Secondly, I think now Arsenal fans are 100% sure that when they go to Etihad, 
they can really <clears throat> get three points. When they go to Etihad, when they go to Anfield, they can get three points. When they go to play away at St. James's Park against Newcastle, they can get those points. I think those are the huge games that are in the way of Arsenal to win the trophy. And the biggest of all, and the hugest of all is obviously that game of Man City. If they can go to Man City and they afford not to lose, the best result for Arsenal should be a win against Man City. That's going to be the 26th of April. But if at all they can draw even, that will put them in a situation that we've now played City. We are five points. We are five points ahead of them. And I think on the 26th, let me see. On the 26th, Arsenal would have played... <laughs> Let me see, how many games will Arsenal be left with after the 26th, after playing Man City? After playing Man City. They'll be left with uh, 26th April. Where are you? They'll be left with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They'll be left with 5 games. They'll be left with 5 games. If Arsenal goes ahead to win those 5 games, then they'll win the trophy, according to me. So to me, I believe Jesus' return is really something good and i think it's doing great wonders to michael Atten. that's why he really celebrated but he threw in a warning to him that it's not going to be an easy pass for him to get back into the team of arsenal and this is what this is the warning that <coughs> michael Ateta issued to him because the question was is they asked him who is gabriel jesus going to replace in the starting 11 of arsenal then Ateta said now jesus needs to earn his place like anyone else in the team we have alternatives that can play in different positions and we have different roles to fill in relation to the chemistry of the players and what we ask them to do. It's a great problem to have. Believe in me. So, you know, when I hear Ateta say that, I just credit him. Why? I support Manchester United. I happen to have fallen a victim to a manager known as Oleguna Socia who was picking players not on merit but on favoritism. Mikela Teta has shown us this, that however good Jesus is, however much he's the most important player for my team, he can't just come back like that. He needs to show me that he's ready to start. As he showed me when I signed him from Man City that he should start ahead of Eddie Nketiah, then he should go ahead and really prove to me that for me to bench Trossard or Martinelli or Ray Nelson out of the team or Eddie Nketiah, he should show me that he's ready to go on and really do the hard work and put it in for my team. So, for Jesus, it's a message outside there that he needs to do the work. But, if you are to trust any player to prove Mikel Ateta right that I should be starting in every game, I think it should be Gabriel Jesus because he's a beast. He's aggressive. And what puts what gives him what gives him an edge over the other players is <coughs> none of the players at Arsenal has all brings what he brings on the table. That is it. He has no match. For Thomas Partey, you can say Jorginho can come in and get the job done. Uh, for Ben White, Tomiyasu can come in through. So to me, I see him as a Zinchenko. I see him as a Martin Odegaard. I see him as a Bukayo Saka. However, much Bukayo Saka is really having a spell of like three, four bad consecutive games, Ateta can't do away with him. Do you know why? He's the only player he has that plays in that position. So, for Jesus, however much he has to go on and really prove to Mikel Ateta that I'm ready to come back in your team, he has lots of things. Sorry, Mikel Ateta has lots of things to lose than Jesus if Ateta does not start him. And I think these games that they're going to play on Thursday <coughs> and Sunday, Thursday they're going to play against Sporting Lisbon in the return leg of the UEFA Europa League that ended 2-2 away in Portugal. I, I think Arsenal are going to win it at Emirates. He's going to start. He's not going to start him. He's going to come off the bench, but I believe he's going to play more minutes, like 20, because on Sunday he played 13. Then, in the game of Crystal Palace at Emirates, it's really going to be a hard one, guys. So it would be a hard one because Crystal Palace is not an, an easy nut to crack. I think for that, Jesus can find himself play close to 30 minutes plus. And I don't see him start in any of those games. But I can guarantee you, when we turn from the international break, Jesus 
is going to start. Is going to start. Is going to start. I'm saying it from here. Jesus will start against Leeds on the 1st of April. If at all he doesn't get a setback, Jesus will start for Arsenal. So these games, Fulham done, Sporting Lisbon, Crystal Palace are really to get him back and integrate him into the team and make him feel like he's back. Then after the international break, because he's going to be rested for two weeks, we are ending, we are, we are going into the international break on the 19th of this month. Then we are returning on the 1st. You get those are close to two weeks for Gabriel Jesus. I think would have gotten back in shape. And I know Mikel Ateta will have to hold some friendlies for him to see to it that he gets back into the level supposed to be. And the good thing is that he was not invited or involved into the squad of Brazil that was really called up to play into the international duty. And by the way, it came to my mind that maybe Jesus was ready, but they never wanted to unleash him before the list was released of those players that are going to play for Brazil into the international friendly. And I think when it was released, then the man said, all right, let me release him because, let me unleash him because he cannot go to the international team. Because right now you can't allow a player like Jesus to go into the national team. That's why I told Arsenal fans that they are worried about Thomas Partey. Thomas Partey going to, Thomas Partey going to, going to the international team of Ghana to play, if he comes back injured, Arsenal fans wouldn't like to see that happen. Not because that, Jorginho can't do the role, but you'd love to see Thomas Partey knowing that I'm on the field of play and Jorginho is there. He's a world-class player. He's in the same level with me. He can come and take my role. That means you're going to get out of Thomas Partey that you've not, that you've not been getting out of him. That is it. So, that is Gabriel Jesus for you. And obviously, let's set this running to the last story. As the manager came in and he told us that, yeah, we try to adapt. He was asked about how Arsenal have tried to adapt without, um, without Gabriel Jesus. He said, yeah, we try to adapt to the qualities that we have to play in their strength and the, and the positions that we want them in as much as possible. Leo Tro Leandro Trossard has very different qualities to Gabi and Martinelli has well compliments has and Martinelli as well compliments him very well in terms of space and understanding so to me as I told you I'm waiting for this day and I know I'm going to have it Jorginho in the double in the midfield pivot Leandro Trossard Martinelli and Gabriel Jesus I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for that moment, guys, because with Zichenko Odegaard in that team, plus those, oh my God, I just can't imagine how that game of football is going to be flowing because all those players I've mentioned really have some good quality and their football intelligence is way up in the galaxy of football playing. So, I think it's a very good boost for Mikel Ateta to have Jesus back and Trossard back. So, the only prayers will be the players are going the international break. Trossard is going. Pate is going. Ramsdale is going. Ben White might not go. Zinchenko is... Will Ukraine play? I don't know. But uh, all, uh, most of the players of Arsenal are really going to play in the international team. I think Jorginho will go to Italy. Odegaard will go to Norland, to, to Norway. Um... Martinelli will go to Brazil. So, Bukayo Saka will go to England. But, the only prayer should be, these players shouldn't get injured. Because, we are into the final bend of the season. Ateta needs to find himself in a position of having a luxury of players. Or a wide, a wide option of players to choose on every time he's going into the game. So, thank you very much for watching it through. Tell me your thoughts on Mikel Ateta issuing... A serious warning to Gabriel Jesus ahead of his sorry after his return because he has warned him that you aren't going to just get your place you have to earn it you have to work for it and he's not practicing favoritism he's just putting what we call putting players on merit something that has always and always and always failed some managers because they feel like certain players have just earned their right to start in every game and Mikel Ateta is not going for that he's calling in for Jesus to fight for the place and obviously do for it so guys thank you very much for watching it through 
I sign out for now. See you later. May the Almighty bless you abundantly. I'm out, my mates.